Good evening. Today we are kind of basically doing a vlog but the whole day is inspired by TikTok hacks. Like I will only be doing TikTok hacks today and that's why you're getting to see me in the raw form of just waking up because my breakfast will be inspired by TikTok. I don't know why I just love TikTok hacks. Like my full save on TikTok is just loads of hacks. It's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Guys look how orange my hands are. I don't know why they go so orange. Like the rest of my body is a lovely colour but for some reason the hands just bright orange. It looks like I've been shoving my chubby fingers in a bag of what's it. I'm gonna do some B12 spray. Got it from my protein apparently, it's really good for you. Tastes delicious as well. This is my dog. These are my ladies. <laughs> Guys, aren't these pajamas so nice? They're silk pajamas. They're from this place called No Emotions on Instagram. And I'm not a pajama person. Like I I sit naked every night, isn't that interesting? Don't know if I've ever said that before, but yeah, I'm a naked sleeper. Which is quite compromising in a way, because like, if there was an emergency or a home intruder, they would be met by a, a scary sight. Okay, on to our first hack of the day. It is breakfast. Now, we all know for breakfast every day, I have my avocado and beans on toast. But recently, I can't go to the toilet without crying. And my mum seems to think it's gluten slash beans. So, I've had to switch it up a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I did once in a vlog publicly slander gluten intolerant people. And now I'm pretty sure I am, but like mentally I'm not. Do you know what I mean? I had to start getting sardo bread and I can't have beans anymore. By the way, I know sardo bread has gluten in it, but it also has probiotics, which is good for your gut. Like I'm not going cold turkey on the gluten just yet, guys. I can't eat gluten bread. I have gluten-free pasta now, but not gluten-free bread, I'm sorry. So I have switched up my recipe quite a lot, but it is fucking delicious. I saw on a TikTok from a girl called Tara's World, love her. First step, you take some hummus and put it on your bread, after toasting, obviously. I don't really like sardo that much. I find it so chewy, like I literally can't eat it. This recipe would be much nicer on normal bread, I think. Wow. Yes. Then you take your avocado, chili flakes, garlic, nutritional yeast. You can get it in, I wish you can get it in Tesco's or Holland and Barra. It's like quite cheesy, it's really good. And it's really healthy for you. Quartered cherry tomatoes and then some chopped up red onion. And then I add some sriracha. And this is my new breakfast. It's actually delicious. Like I really do recommend trying it. Quite spicy. I mean, you don't have to add as much chili as I do. Maybe that's what makes going to the toilet so sore. I eat so much spice. Anyway, fuck it. Next up, we're having coffee. No, I'm gonna have cold brew because I feel like cold brew is much more of a TikTok thing than my usual espresso. I've used the Chamberlain coffee like little tea bags to do cold brew for the books, but. Basically, you know how I raved on about those Starbucks cups, which to be fair, I do still love. They are great cups and I like that they're see-through. But anyway, basically I wanted to try Duncan coffee because I've never tried Duncan coffee. And apparently there's one in London. I had no idea. So I went to the Duncan place in London. I really wanted to get the Charlie, but they didn't have it. But they did have these cups. They were selling some merch that does say Duncan on it. You know what? I do, I find it quite ugly. And I don't like that it's not see-through. Like I like to see my drinks. But when I tell you this will keep your drink cold for 24 hours, like we would leave this on our side with a bit of ice left in it from a previous drink and come back in 24 hours and the ice is still there and our flat is like a sauna like it keeps your drink so cold like, see if you're going to like uni or school and you wanted to bring an iced coffee your coffee will stay iced all day in this i sound like i'm being paid to say that but it genuinely is so good Then obviously gonna add my banana drops. Just love my wee banana drops. Okay, I've got my extra large coffee. I will come back to you when I'm doing my next hack. It's like an hour later and I've now decided I'm going to take my extensions out. Basically, I have been pushing this off for the longest time because my hair is slightly frazzled and the extensions just make it so nice and long and thick. Well, not really anymore because when I tell you like, 90% of the extensions have fallen out. I just have like a few rat tails left and I've just been so scared of taking them out and I get comments all the time like sis take your extensions out. I'm like no I just I just refuse to do it but it's gotten to the point now that my hair is a mess. Also can I just say I think I finished my coffee an hour ago. Still so much ice. Such a big fan of this cup. I am sorry because I do know a lot of people went out and got the Starbucks cup after I raved about it. I know I'm raving about this. People get exhausted trying to figure me out and I just let them. People get exhausted trying to figure me out and I just let them. I'm basically taking my extensions out because I want to try this thing called rice water. It's like a TikTok hack. Still a wee bit pink as well, but that'll definitely come out in the shower today. My hair appointment is booked in for a month from today, so it's only a month of short hair. I can do it. I can do it. This is before. So nice and long. Mm. 
literally don't don't speak to me don't speak to me this is the amount of hair that came out quite a lot to be fair it looks really greasy right now because i put in like loads of conditioner and loads of like product to get the tape out need to wash it now but that brings us on to our next hack also it's so thin so like i need to do this hack to make it thicker so basically on tiktok literally all of my for you page there's this thing called rice water that you use in your hair i think it kind of originated from asia and they just like used it to get really long thick and healthy hair so that is what i've done i will put in the tiktok on how i made this rice water <laughs> do is i'm going to shampoo my hair first and then i've also seen this thing i actually saw this from flossy it's like a scalp massager and it's meant to be good because it like circulates the blood around your head i'm a scientist actually i literally have like a little rat's tail now this is so upsetting this is the thing whenever you take out extensions like you just have it in your head that your hair is that thick and it's just not oh it's dripping all down my face it smells stanky that is not very nice i'm just pouring it in and kind of rubbing it in and getting it Getting her all in there. Maybe I'll use this new thing. But that feels nice. I'm gonna finish this off camera because I will end up flashing someone. Okay, it's fully saturated. It's gonna be a bit like wavy actually. I do feel like I could probably get like quite wavy hair if I did the curly, curly hair routine. Because if you see my mum and sister, like they have literal ringlet hair. Okay, so I just tied my hair up in a bun and I'm gonna leave it in for around half an hour. And in that time, we're on to our next hack. Okay, so next up is a weighted hula hip. I have seen this all over TikTok. Apparently, it's meant to give you a snatched waist. Now, I have quite an up and down body, like I'm very straight, I don't really have any curves, so I feel like this could be, this could be the thing for me. It also seems like a fun way of exercise, like I can watch a YouTube video, I'm going to watch a YouTube video while I do it, I'm going to try to do it for 10 minutes and then we're going to move on to like an ab workout. Also I've put on my iconic green shorts that I used to wear literally every day in the first lockdown, because it's St. Patrick's Day today, woo! Last year I was getting paralytic in a field somewhere and this year I'm using a weighted hula hip and I've got stanky rice water in my hair. Wouldn't have it any other way. I've got a light video to watch while I'm doing it. It is Teenagers Solved Her Own Murder with Fitness Apps by Eleanor Neal. Sorry guys, just had to change into a t-shirt there because I am getting hot. This is a, this is a good workout. This is my t-shirt from Sorrento when I went on the Latin trip to Italy. So I could see Pompeii with my own eyes. It was actually quite a harrowing experience. Like there was just dead corpses, like skeletons, just like lying there, like in the position they died in. And I was like, this, this is a bit scarring for 15 year old me to see. And then I got two styes in my eye and it looked really funny. So I put in a photo of that. Right, back to Ellen O'Neill. I love Ellen O'Neill because I don't really watch Criminal Minds anymore. I think I finished the full thing. Like, I watched it so much when I was younger. So this is like the closest thing I get to Criminal Minds. Who do you guys prefer? Spencer Reid or Derek Morgan? I think I prefer Derek Morgan. Like I want Derek Morgan to call me baby girl. Do you know what I mean? Baby girl, please tell me something I want to hear. You're a statue of God of sculpted chocolate thunder. I don't really know what to do with my hands. I feel a bit awkward here. I don't think I can see any like noticeable difference, but I wasn't really expecting to. I'm gonna keep doing it every day though, and I will update you if I see any difference. My rim is a mess, guys, also, so you're gonna have to ignore that. Okay, so next up, we're gonna do a Daisy Keach workout. So she's a TikToker, so that's why it's kind of like TikTok. I also did see everyone on TikTok saying that Daisy Keach's workouts are like better than Chloe Ting's, because apparently Chloe Ting's actually make you like really straight up and down. Okay, so I'm gonna do the quarantine abs, my eight minute go to clinch waist workout by Daisy Keach. Because we're getting, we're gonna have a tiny waist, but it's, by the end of today, the song Small Waist, Pretty Face with a Big Bank is literally gonna be about me. Mind you, we're still working on absolutely nothing in the bank area. The bank's been robbed, but I hate doing bum workouts. Like, see squats and like my legs the next day and all, not a bit of me. I much prefer out workouts to leg workouts. I prefer no workouts, to be honest, and I haven't done a workout in months, but we are in the run up to Hot Girl Summer, so I'm gonna have to start doing something. There is rice water dripping down my back and into my ass crack as we speak. Do you ever feel really sick when you go do ab workouts? Also, oh my god, do you ever get like a sore neck? I swear I'm doing something wrong because my neck wrecks when I do ab workouts. Is it uncomfortable that we're making eye contact right now? What is this? This feels weird. I farted. Ow. I hate how effortless they look. Like she's not breaking a sweat right now. She's having a great time. My, my chest hurts. My chest bones. Please help. Babes, why are the exercises a full minute long? You are overestimating me, Daisy Cage. Oh, we're done!
Okay, I'm now really sweaty and I need to wash my rice water. Am I fucking balding? Oh, I think it's just like a really uneven hairline. God, guys, everything's going wrong. Okay, right, it's all washed out. I can't really tell if it's done anything because I do let my hair air dry. But now for our next time, we're doing a bit more beauty. I did a wee beauty bay order. I got Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. So I've seen this all over TikTok and I think it's just like kind of like a BB cream, which I'm actually quite interested in because recently I haven't been wearing foundation. I just wear concealer and like a cream contour kind of thing. So I'm interested to see if this is good because this could be a new thing. Ooh, it's green. Interesting. Did that do anything? I mean, I feel like it evened up my skin tone a little bit. It just made me look really pale. I don't know, everyone hyped this up so much. Maybe like you need to add bronzer to it or something. I'll add some bronzer and see if that makes it any better. What has that done to me? I look like a dead body. Okay, so this is it with some bronzer on. Looks like there is no blood running through my veins. Really living out my Edward Cullen fantasy. Next up we have Rapid Brow. So I've been using Rapid Lash recently and when I tell you my eyelashes have grown so much, like look at them. Oh, isn't that ridiculous? That's no mascara. Rapid Lash has actually done wonders for me because my eyelashes are kind of fucked from extensions. So then I saw they did Rapid Brow on Beauty Bay and I was like, yeah, absolutely, I'll be getting that because I want to have big bushy eyebrows, basically. So yeah, guys, just don't mind me if you see a Cara Delevingne looking like walking down your street in the near future because it, it is just me. Our last TikTok hack is this NYX Shine Loud cash flow i don't really know basically it's this like liquid lipstick that apparently like genuinely doesn't move i've seen it on tiktok so i wanted to give her a go why is packaging so hard to get off now this makeup look does not need a lipstick at all like i will look terrifying with lipstick on but fuck it i want to try this out is it meant to be like that? Guys, what the fuck? What am I doing? I mean, you know what? If I had like eye makeup on and actual good makeup and said whatever the fuck that green thing was, then I can imagine this lip, lip color looking nice. Right, I'm gonna try to take this off because I am actually starting to terrify myself the way I look. It really just doesn't come off. Instead, I've got like cotton on my lips. Ew, that is fucking disgusting. Come off. Ooh. I'm starting to feel claustrophobic. I can't get it fully off. It's still like cracked. It looks like that nail polish that you used to put on. Like, you know, the black nail polish that cracked. Oh, those are the days. Next TikTok hack is this thing that's been trending at the minute where when you're driving with the roof down, you put these like little head scarfs on, tie them here. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> Baby, please don't go. Well, this is really embarrassing. We look like little old women. We look like little old Russian ladies. <laughs> oh my god, you just shit yourself. I don't care what you say. You I just didn't shit, shit myself. <laughs> okay, so next up, I'm trying out this smoothie ball hack. First, you have to make your smoothie. I've got frozen mango, blueberries, coconut yogurt, and some almond milk. Okay, so I just melted two tablespoons of coconut oil, a tablespoon of hot chocolate powder. I don't really need, is that cocoa powder? Who knows? And then a squirt of agave. This is what my smoothie looks like. I put some banana on because I feel like that could be quite nice with like the hardened chocolate, maybe. That's what it looks like. It does look a little bit shit, but I'm gonna leave it for a few minutes and try that harden. Okay, right, I guess let's give her a go. Scared. I could probably use a clean spoon, but no. Oh, that was fun. Mmm. Interesting. I don't know if I'll be doing it again. However, it was a fun, fun little evening snack. We've got one more snack to try after this, and then we have really exhausted all possible TikTok hacks. Oh, by the way, this is my hair. It is so thin. I mean, it's not, yeah, it's just not in great condition. Next up, and finally, we are trying Lizzo's Nature Cereal. I don't really know. So we've got some chopped strawberries. Gonna put a handful of blueberries, some coconut water, and then I'm putting some ice in. I'm sorry, I'm not loving the look of that whatsoever. What is that? What is that? Just a bit terrified of this. 
I just knew everyone was being so dramatic when they tried this. It's just watery fruit. Do I say fruit weirdly? Yeah, you say fruit. What do you say? Fruits. Fruit. Okay, right, my camera's about to die. I'm not gonna go to bed because I'm absolutely exhausted. Bye.